got a new mug. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, which you probably are because everyone's new here, I'm very happy to have you here. Thank you for stopping by my little corner of the YouTube universe. I thought I'd just sit down and film something, anything. And every now and then my lovely, lovely aunt, who is an artist, you can find her on Instagram at Julia Sedeby. Julia works with a lot of incredible, vibrant colors. I always love her color palettes and her color schemes. And she loves my makeup photos. We have this little back and forth where sometimes I will send her uh, a photo of my makeup and she will send me Instagram posts of color palettes, of photos with really interesting color schemes, and sometimes it's just send me straight up art that has, you know, color blocking in it that is, you know, really complimentary to each other. The other night she sent me a Instagram post of an artist named uh, Mikey Legler, Mikey underscore Legler. I'll pop it up here. So I saw some of the colors that I really gravitate toward in this piece, and I thought it'd be really cool to try and sort of draw inspiration from this color palette and maybe do an eye look corresponding with that. So that's it, that's, that's all it is, not too deep today. I'm just gonna get inspired by Art. I will leave Mikey Legler's Instagram down below as well as Julia's Instagram. She is again an incredible artist. Go give go give them a follow. Go give them a like or two. I have it pulled up here on my laptop and I'm looking at it and it's got like this, you know, really, really deep sort of ox blood or a plum color. It has some grays, it has some taupes, and then it has sort of a pop of that chartreuse gold, and I thought this would be a perfect time to try out my new Super Shock Telepathy from ColourPop. So I think that will be the main focal of the look today. First, we're gonna have to lay down some transition shades and some crease shades. And I'm still kind of like, oh, unsure of what to use because there's just too many options now. But before it gets creasy up in here, I think I'm gonna lay down something really neutral for the transition. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, let's get started. So I think first off, I'm going to jump into Jaclyn Hill. It's a weird sentence of context so I'm just gonna tap into that sort of light taupey shade right here I've been experimenting with not setting my lids I don't know yet I'm not married to any sort of technique I think this is definitely gonna be a warmer look from my last look thank you all for the amazing comments on it y'all are real real nice Lucia Tepper on YouTube here said something really constructive to me. She left a comment saying like, you know, great video, but you know, it'd be great is if you tried to reply more to all of these lovely comments because it's really important when you first start out on YouTube is to, you know, connect with your following. And I was like, I don't know why that hadn't even occurred to me. I suffer from a lot of social anxiety and sometimes for me that isn't like the first thought uh, is to, you know, actually interact start a conversation you know I get way far into my own head and start to think well I mean why would they want to talk to me I don't want to come off as needy or desperate and so my usual response is just to sort of like be quiet but appreciative this happens to me a lot um, some people when they first meet me tell me that I'm really intimidating then when they get to know me they're like oh you're not intimidating you're just scared of everyone <laughs> which is 100% true I'm sorry if my silence came off as like snobbery or snooty or better than thou it, it definitely doesn't come from that kind of place it comes from a place of like fear and anxiety and so I really have to push myself to interact with people on a regular basis which I'm you know trying to get better at. I will certainly work harder to connect more personally with each and every person that gives me a comment. So thank you so much. I'm like, that was super good to hear and incredibly constructive and something I wouldn't have thought of. If you're not subscribed to Lucia yet, what are you doing? Go over there, go check out her channel, tell her I said hello. I don't think I want this look to get too warm. So I think I'm gonna jump into some of my Makeup Geek shadows. I'm gonna take faux fur, which is this sort of cool toned 
gray shadow and just sort of deepen up the crease with that bad boy. I've been really enjoying these Make of Geek shadows so far. Let me know in the comments what your favorite single shadow brand is. I am really open to new suggestions all the time about makeup. I am certainly not an expert as we are a whole aware. So yeah, I'm just taking that same brush that I used and just sort of tapping more of this closer to the lid to cool down and also deepen up the crease. Okay, we've got sort of a grayish thing going on in the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and take Cherry Cola, put that in the deepest portion of my crease. Cherry Cola always reminds me of Jordan Hans. Does anyone else miss her on YouTube? I know she's moved more primarily to Twitch, which is awesome that she is getting lots of recognition there and really thriving creatively over there. I do miss her videos considerably. Finally got it blended to a spot where I like it. So now I'm going to dip into telepathy and see, see what happens, because I actually have no idea how this is going to perform. So I'm just gonna take my flat packing brush, dip into it. Hmm, no, it definitely performs better with a finger, but yeah, no, screw that. I'm just gonna take my finger, cause. Yeah, that's stunning. I feel like I'm missing something like a pop of color or something. So I think I'm gonna just dip into my peachy mats and take a combo of just peachy and peach punch, which are the two pink shades. And I think I'm gonna just splash that just in this sort of area right here and see uh, what happens. And I think I'll take that on the lower lash line as well. Sort of tie it in. I like that. Well, this eye is taking an unexpected turn, but I'm not mad. I don't have like a really pale yellow highlighter, but I'm going to just take this really sort of just neutral brow bone highlight in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is called Beam. And it's sort of like the palest, yellowest highlight shade I could find in my collection. Pop that, ooh, okay. I did not know, I did not know, Beam. You look very unassuming in the palette. I think I'm just gonna layer a bit of telepathy on top using a brush so maybe it'll be a bit more diffused. Yeah, that works. Well, for now, I think I will leave it at that. Probably just gonna do mascara for this looks. I'm just gonna do my mascara off camera and I will be right back. Okie doke, I am back. Let's just breeze through the rest of this face. I've been baking on the lower half of my face and I think it's helping quite a lot when it comes to my sort of redness and pigmentation under there and also for bronzing and contouring later on. <laughs> what is my hair doing? Oh my god. Type of bloosh. Bloosh. Gonna stick to brighter, more corally shades. Just going a blush crazy today. I mean, that's not different from any other day. That's just real. And I'm bringing the blush all the way into the temples today. Cause I think with a more avant-garde look, you can definitely sort of get away with that. And for highlight today, it doesn't quite go with our whole look today, but it's just so pretty. I can't, I can't not use it. I'm going to take my new ColourPop Luster Dust in Strobe Globe and just kind of have a field day with it. when you think they couldn't glow any harder color pop is like we're just gonna we're just gonna release something that'll blow your brains out well color pop consider my brains strewn all over the apartment okay 
And once you put blush all over your entire face, it's time to try a couple of freckles, maybe. I think the last thing I have to do on camera is lips. I thought I'd give this uh, a second try. This is a sample of Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle in the shade Griselda. Everyone loves this product so much from what I hear. And the first time I tried it, I have to tell you, it was really patchy, which is um, kind of a bummer because the shade is so beautiful. So maybe it was just me. So I'm gonna give it one more shot today. Is it just me or is it just like really patchy? Also, it's kind of getting everywhere. I mean, it's not the worst. It's far better than the last time I used it. I don't know, man. Am I the only person who doesn't like this formula? I don't know, maybe it's just me. And also like the texture is a little bit, like I get it, it's supposed to be matte, but there's a graininess to it, like a grainy texture. I don't know, man, and it keeps like just sloughing off my lips. So this is, this is, this is the best it's gonna get. I don't know, maybe I'm just not using it properly. It's definitely possible. And I think I'm just gonna pop cusp in the center. And friends, this is the completed look all here for you. Definitely took some unexpected turns, but all welcome. I thought this look was gonna go in a more vampy, more dramatic look as opposed to an avant-garde look, but I shouldn't be surprised taking inspiration from a contemporary painting. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. It is definitely a little bit more avant-garde than I expected it to be, but it was really fun to create and I loved taking color inspiration from modern art. It feels like an obvious marrying of the two art forms, but I don't see it done often, at least not in YouTube form. If you guys enjoyed watching this sort of video, let me know if you want me to do another one. My Auntie Julia sends me tons and tons of inspiration all the time for color in the form of palettes and photographs or paintings. So I've got a lot to choose from already. If you wanted me to make this another series, I'd be sure to keep that in mind. It was really, really fun. I think it turned out really colorful and bright and I wasn't expecting that. And I sort of was expecting telepathy to be the star of the show, but I feel like there is a really good balance of all the colors kind of together and they all work together. So definitely go check out that artist. I will leave their information below and please go check out my Auntie Julia's Instagram. She does some amazing artwork, which is uh, really colorful and really, really cool. So I will also leave her information down below as well. If you would like to see more of this mug in the future, why don't you go ahead and uh, just hit that subscribe button down below if you'd be so kind i would very much appreciate that come join our little corner that we have sequestered we're nice and we don't bite much if you did like this video please be sure to show it by giving it a thumbs up down below that helps me out a lot and uh leave a comment on anything you'd like did you want to see another one of these videos where i take inspiration from some artwork or a photo or a palette let me know i will be returning to my get the most out of your palette series very shortly and you will find out in my next video what palette i'm going to do next so it's going to be fun and exciting i think that's everything i'm going to head out please be kind be generous to everyone you meet out there in the world today and Hopefully, I will see you on the next one. Bye.